If you're using an older version of Content Manager and Sol, you'll want to check this video out. The reason is because there have been changes to both of them that affects how they work with preview versions of Custom Shaders Patch. Now, some of you might say, Hey, I'm not using the preview version of CSP anyway, so why should I care? The way I see it, the preview version of CSP is what to expect from future public releases. So you might as well get it updated anyway because you're going to have to do it sooner or later especially if you want to enjoy the latest updates or any additional features in CSP in the future. Now comes the interesting bit. Depending on which of the two official downloaded sites that you got Content Manager from, you could end up with the latest version, or you could end up with a slightly older version that has some compatibility issues with Sol. At the time of making this video, if you download it from acstuff.ru, you'll get the older 0.8.2245 version, but if you download it from GitHub, you'll get version 0.8.2561, which is the latest version. Not sure what version you're on? Well, just open up Content Manager and head over to Settings, Content Manager, and General. The latest available version right now is 0.8.2561 and we're not going to bother about the other numbers behind this, the important bit is the 0.8.2561. Now no matter where you downloaded Content Manager from, to update to the latest version, you just need to click on the button to check for updates and it will very conveniently update to the latest version automatically. That was easy enough. So now that we're on the latest version of Content Manager, the next thing we need to sort out is Sol. To check what version you're on, head over to Settings, Custom Shaders Patch, and Weather FX. Click on Weather Style and you can see here that I'm on version 2.2.9, which is the latest version available at the moment. So head on over to the Race Department link below in the description to download this latest version of Sol. And just a quick public service announcement, you can actually sign up for a free account on Race Department, although they make it seem like you have to sign up for a paid account. Just keep your eye out for the sneaky link hidden somewhere on the sign up page. Before we install this, if you have any existing version of Sol, you have to make sure that you get that uninstalled first. To do this, go to the downloaded Sol archive and head to the Sol folder where you'll see a soluninstall.bat file. Copy this file to your Assetto Corsa root folder, double click on it and press Y on your keyboard. This will automatically clean up any existing Sol files. And now to install Sol. So the first rule of installing Sol is to make sure that you install it manually. And the second rule of installing Sol is to make sure that you follow the first rule of installing Sol manually. 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 The correct way is to copy the apps, content, extension, and system folder from the Sol archive to your AC root folder. Confirm to overwrite any existing files and we are done. Now to check that everything has been done properly, head on over to settings, custom shaders patch and weather FX, and you should see a drop down which says weather style instead of the old controller script and weather script drop down menus. Check that yours says Sol 2.2.9 and we can head on to the last step which is to make sure that all the Sol apps are activated. Under settings, Assetto Corsa and Python apps, Make sure anything that has Sol is switched on and you'll be good to go. Now a reminder that Sol doesn't bring rain. If you want rain, you're going to need to pay for a preview version of Custom Shaders Patch. And you can see here that I'm on version 0.1.80 preview version 346. If you're on this as well, well you'll notice that when you head on to the drive menu and then to the weather drop down, You'll see Sol 2.5 with its own dropdowns for start weather, wetness, and puddles. So go ahead and feel free to mess around with those. It just makes things a little bit easier when you start a wet game. Before you do that, if you like this video, do hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to see more Assetto Corsa videos. And just in case some of you encounter any issues, like for example, I've seen some people get a black sky glitch where the sky just turns black no matter the time of day. To resolve this, head on over to Settings, Assetto Corsa, and Video. Under Post Processing, set your filter to Sol. 
Now head over to the drive menu and choose an original Kunos car on an original Kunos track. For the weather, set it to anything from Sol and then start a drive session. When you're in-game, bring your mouse over to the right-hand side of the screen to open up this menu. Go to Sol Config and click on Reset to Defaults. This may or may not work for you, and if that doesn't work, I would suggest to uninstall Sol following the steps shown earlier and uninstall CSP as well. Once both of them have been uninstalled, go ahead and reinstall them again following the steps and it should be working fine now. I'm sure there are other ways to troubleshoot this to get it working, but for me, I just found that uninstalling and reinstalling was probably the easiest, surefire way to get it working without having to spend a ton of time trying to go through and mess with my settings to see what went wrong. But yeah, do what works for you. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys at the next video.